and we're live. <laughs> wow. Okay. What's up, Broster? What's going on? Well, everybody, welcome to the first episode of the T Bros Podcast. Uh, I, I am Dayton Toma, your host, along with your co-host, Connor Toma. Oh, okay. What's up, bro? What's going on? What's going on? So you've been working today? Yeah, it was a um, all over the place kind of day. Mm-hmm. Riding in the riding in the the truck. Well, started out um, working at one job, you know, and um, plan was to do one thing <laughs> and then leave. Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> one thing turned into another. Yeah, and then another. Then just a bunch of crap happened, mm-hmm. and then we had to stay. And then it came around lunchtime, and then we could finally, finally leave. So you picked Kill Bill as the movie you want to watch tonight? Ah, uh, you know, we recently, like pro- probably three weeks ago or so, we watched, mm-hmm. watched uh, Kill Bill Volume One. So um, I was thinking we should do the second one. Yeah, but you hated the first one, though. <laughs> it, it wasn't that bad. Like, oh, oh, there's anime in it. I don't want to watch the it. The anime bullcrap was horrible. <laughs> I like. I wanted to just go upstairs and leave. <laughs> You're like, oh, I hate this. There's anime in it, even though it's like seven minutes of anime in there. Yeah, because that is the worst style of of anything. Wow. Okay. Your your Attack on Titan crap, it's horrible. Well, you don't like Attack on Titan? It's bad. That's good stuff, it's bro. It's so bad. Okay. Like, if I have to read subtitles to watch it, like, in its true form, it's horrible. (laughs) It's horrible. Okay. Well, I'm telling you right now, part two is, like, a lot worse than the first one. I don't know if it's worse, but it definitely has less action than the first one in it. Well, if it's slower... It's definitely slower and it's longer. We just need more character development. (laughs) What do you mean? It's a Tarantino movie, Connor. This isn't some novel. (laughs) It's just in the first one, there was no true... Yeah, yeah. Glorious Bastards has character <laughs> development. <laughs> there was no true, like, character to, like, love. You know what I mean? Like, what's her face? I'm going to say it again. This is a Tarantino movie, Connor. <laughs> what? Like, the second one, if it's slower and stuff, we'll learn more about, about that. Oh, you definitely will. Which is, there's some funny scenes in it and learn how she became a ninja. Yeah, which is going to be cool. Mm-hmm. That's sick. Um... Now I'll give it to you. The scene at the like the very end where she fights the whole freaking like room of those mm-hmm. people. The crazy eighty eight. That was sick. Well yeah. Her and her little sword. Well yeah. That was sick. You know why it's sick? Why is that? Because Lucy Lou's there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be roasting Lucy Lou, bro. Lucy Lou is like your all time crush. And no, I she's just, just my Asian it. crush. Your Asian crush. Yeah. Do you do you have a crush for every race? Well, like yeah. You have to, bro. <laughs> Who's like your white Latin crush? Latin crush, bro? Anna de Armas. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Who's Who's your white crush? Oh, I don't know. Exactly. I haven't thought about that. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know. Do you have a white crush? The celebrity? Yeah. Okay. Who is it? Char- gonna... Char- Char- Charlie D'Amelio. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Obviously. A TikTok star. She's white. Uh huh. Just because she twerks on TikTok she doesn't, doesn't mean she twerk on TikTok. That's a lie. That's a hundred percent a lie. She doesn't like sit there. And How twerk. many posts she have? She has like ten thousand posts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, like there's definitely a twerk on there. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. So like, yeah. One or two or three yeah. or four. Okay. Yeah. That's all she does. That doesn't. No. That's not true at all. Mm-hmm. I bet she vapes. <laughs> Who gives a crap if she vapes? I mean, <laughs> d- don't vape though. It's, <laughs> It's not good for you. But who cares? <laughs> Lordy. <laughs> What'd you think about that uh the Marvel press release thing? Very what awesome. What was it, Comic Con? Very awesome. What was it I on? know. Comic Con? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know you hate it with a passion. Well, yeah, I don't like Marvel. Marvel is the greatest. Marvel's gone so far downhill, it's ridiculous. I would agree that the quality of content has gone down. Oh well, yeah, it's gone way down. It's gone horribly down after Endgame, 
it's just been horrible. What? No, no, you're like, oh, I love all this. this I do. The shows. The shows are Ms. good. Miss Marvel's so good. The, no, oh, oh. Miss, Miss Marvel is Ms. Marvel's okay. fantastic. It, mm. I never said that. Moon Knight. Oh, Moon the Knight. best thing ever. Moon Knight was good. Uh. Moon Knight was great. <laughs> Loki might be the best show Loki, there is. Oh, Loki's so great. Loki mm. is good. Black Widow, best movie ever. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's right. That's only because of Florence Pugh and ScarJo. Uh, ScarJo, that Connor, did you see the CGI clip no, at like the end uh, with her on the plane? Yeah, like, it, <laughs> bro, it looks like some eight-year-old made it. <laughs> I could have probably done that's a some Bollywood job. shit. I could have been, <laughs> oh, dude, dude, that is a hundred percent. Yeah, it's horrible. exactly. It's so bad. Mm-hmm. So but you're like, oh, it's good. No, no, I never said that. Mm-hmm. That's that's You're like oh white oh titties oh that's all I care about that oh my oh David Harbor fat David Harbor David Harbor, Harbor. Uh, sick dude uh. the Red Guardian <laughs> you can't tell me that character's sick bro no he had like there's no point in him he's the fake oh, dad that yeah, the Russian that. fake dad he's the Russian Captain America oh okay. Sure. What do you mean? You That's what he is. He literally has the same suit, just in the Russian colors. Mm-hmm. That's pretty lame. That's not lame at all. That's sick, and he's a Russian, and he has a Russian accent. So when's Guardians 3 coming out? When is that on the timeline? I have no idea. Because that's the only, like, out of the 20 bullcrap that's about to come out, that's the only one I care about. Not the two Avengers? No. They, they announced two <laughs> Avengers movies. Okay. Is Robert in it? No. Is probably not. Evan in it? Probably 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 not. Is Don Cheadle in it? I don't know. Okay. So it doesn't Why? matter. Why'd you bring up Don Cheadle? Representation, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Marvel loses Chadwick Bose Boseman and now they need still one more person. Well yeah. <laughs> Don Cheadle is your pick. Isn't his like Who's going to be the next Black Panther? That trailer's out now. I haven't watched it. Okay. That's not my question. What? I said, who's the next Black Panther? Who is it? Who is it? Yeah. We don't. They didn't announce that. No. Isn't the movie coming out like this year? Yeah. Okay. So they, they de- we definitely know who it is. It's going to be a girl. No, it ain't. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, it's, it's going to be his sister or, or uh, the Michonne chick. The Michonne chick? His sister wouldn't be bad, but it's still a woman. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think They can't be the king of Wakanda. I, <laughs> I don't know. It's 2022. I guess you could be the they, them of Wakanda. The they, them of Wakanda? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's... that Marvel would. They definitely would do that. They would. Because in Infinity War, they had that, like, retarded female, like, superpower scene where they're all in the ditch. Yeah, but that's that's not. I was a, like, oh, great. That's not a pronoun thing. But that, that's just like a girl. Woman empowerment. Thing. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Go girls, man. Black Panther, the they them dynasty. <laughs> 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 Michonne gets her samurai sword from another universe. <laughs> 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 that tickle you? <laughs> I, I clear. <laughs> Black, Black Panther's gonna be good. Uh, if they do that, that would be funny. Well, yeah, it'd be that, funny. That'd be, no shit, it'd be funny. <laughs> that'd be so funny. Disney would never do that, though. That would be hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it's definitely gonna be his sister or, or his, um, the uh, love interest, mm-hmm. her as well. The love interest. Yeah, the one super hot chick. Um, the one that's in um, Get Out or Us. Oh, the main chick in Us. Oh, I don't even remember. Oh no, I do remember her. Yeah, well, it's been a while since I watched Black Panther. Yeah, me too. It's part of like, the Marvel, you know. So we don't watch that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, we don't watch Marvel because Disney's bad. <laughs> you like Disney? Huh? Uh, now Marvel's good. You're 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 just mad. No, Marvel's not good anymore. Is not good. How's Anything that? past 2017 is bad, bro. That's not 2017. 
2018. When did Infinity War come out? Like 19 or something. No, it's not. I think it what, did. What, you want me to look it up? Yeah, yeah, I did. Look it up. I'll yeah, look I it do. up. No, I, I swear it came out in 2017. No, I'm pretty sure it's 2018, 2019, maybe. And um, um, literally one of the best films of all time. But both of them. <laughs> both Infinity 2018. War. 2018. 2018. See? Weird. And it's an 8.4. Now, let's go look at Endgame. It's also an 8.4, but yeah. I don't think it deserves that. Why? Because it's a time travel bullcrap, Connor. Literally Why? nothing matters at this point. It's like Ned being able to open a portal first try. Like, okay, Doctor Strange does not matter anymore. Heck, I saw a meme about uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Mm-hmm. So at the very beginning, where it's, um, it's America Chavez and the Defender Strange, like running through like the 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 world with that creature behind them. Yeah. The meme w- w- was like, "Hey, just just portal us to the book." Yeah. Uh, I've been directed by Sam Sam Raimi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they nerfed him a lot. Well, yeah. They nerfed him a lot. It's yeah. horrible. He was actually like the first movie's actually good. Everything but toward well, in Infinity War before is good. Except he, for he, Thor 1 and 2. He was good. <laughs> That's in, about um, it. <laughs> Captain Marvel? Oh, sorry. Thor 1 and 2 and Captain Marvel. <laughs> okay. Just make it. Because literally that five minutes in Infinity War where they're fighting just girls, that's all Captain Marvel. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Woman empowerment. I can fly and shoot lasers out of my hand. Me, 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 me. They had to make a girl the most powerful Avenger. Yeah. They uh, had to. Then in the in, in game, she's like, we didn't have me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some cringy crap, Connor. Yeah. No, I, I the cheesy jokes aren't helping mm-hmm. at all because they've been carrying that through the whole phase four and none of the movies are good. There's one that I think is worthy of being good. Mm-hmm. Shang, Shang-Chi, mm-hmm. which I, I think is the best in phase, phase four. Okay. Well, yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You you don't like that film? I liked it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not saying it's in game level. Well, nothing's gonna be. Or not? Sorry, not in game. Sorry, Infinity War level. Not. Let me look up Shang Chi. Nothing's can, is gonna be there. It's, it's like a seven point four. Yeah. Now let me go look up. Um. Cats Marvel's Black be Widow. Low. No, Black Widow. <laughs> That's going to be like a five. It's so bad. <laughs> it was horrible. A 6.7? Okay, I thought it would be worse than that. I'd rate a five. Yeah. I mean, <sighs> okay, so that's a 6.7 Black Widow. Uh-huh. Okay, now I'm going to look up Thor Dark World or whatever. That Well, it's going to be the same. 6.8? Yeah. Okay, I yeah. mean, I, I guess they're close. But uh, in Rotten, it's going to be a lot worse. Uh, sixty six on Rotten Tomatoes. Wh- which and, one? And oh yeah, Black Widow is way better on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. Yeah, the ratings change on they every made, app. They could have made Black Widow actually so good, but Disney just doesn't know how to do anything anymore. They're just shitting out content just so people buy tickets. How could they have? What could they have done? Had to better make, writers to make it better. You, well, want, you know why I don't like Disney? Obviously. Why? Why? Because they're they can't do a rated R film. No, no, oh no, no. They've done rated R films, but like n- not a Marvel film. Uh, well, I mean, we could discuss that later. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> um, what is it? Um, well, no, they can't create anything original. Like literally, they piggyback off of everybody. What's the last good original Disney movie? I mean, original Disney. I mean, movie. In, I mean, Encanto was original. That's a new That's movie. That's not a good movie. How? Huh. People love that film. I've never seen it. <laughs> but. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say Frozen was probably the best original good movie that Disney made. And that was like 10 years ago. Um, Inside Out is one of the highest rated films of all time. Yeah, but that's all animated crap. That's a Disney movie. I though. want Disney back when it was Pirates of the Caribbean. That's good. And Mulan. That's an that's also a cartoon though. Yeah, but it was good. So is Inside Out. No, Encanto is a seven point two. Dongleberry. Look at the um the Inside Out. That's literally one of the highest rated films of all time. Top hundred. Yeah, but you said Encanto first. Okay. I don't even know how to say it. That's, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Which one? Eight point two. Okay. No, it's high. It's and when did it rated. come out? Twenty fifteen. Seven years ago. 
what other film before that? Frozen Two? No, I don't think Frozen Two was that great. I mean, I didn't. I'm gonna look up Frozen either. Two and see what's rated. I never saw it either. But um, Frozen Two, six point eight. Yeah, no, horrible. And I'm pretty sure Frozen One's like ridiculously high. Well, that film. Oh, it's not. It's only seven point four. That film was one of the highest, like grossing. Yeah, but then they just keep remaking stuff. Like they remade The Lion King, waste of money and time. Well, remade Beauty and the Beast. They changed it from a cartoon to remade a real Aladdin. To real yeah, but that's life. still they don't have to rewrite anything. They only take the script and shove it into real life. Yeah, but it's remember the Will Smith memes with <laughs> Aladdin. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> oh man, sure. I miss those days. <laughs> Next thing you know, there's gonna be a Little Mermaid remake. They couldn't do that. They couldn't do that. How would they? What do you mean? How could they? Like a real life, like uh, like they're mermaid. making Avatar li- uh, Life of the Water or whatever right now. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true, but that's that's Avatar. That's not t- Disney though. Mm-hmm. I mean, technically, it's like part of their thing though. I think. Hmm. Um. Disney's definitely made Marvel worse, but I do think they've helped Star Wars. Okay, bro, you just got to stop stop all your head, uh, bro. Why? What? Why? No. Tell me why. <laughs> That's not that funny. <laughs> they definitely help Star Wars. They have. <laughs> why haven't they? Oh, shit. <laughs> Kenobi, bro. Are we going to are okay. we going to get into Kenobi? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kenobi was not great. Uh, they went against every Star Wars thing that Disney's come out with is like just a guy babysitting the whole. That's not true at all. Actually, <laughs> holy crap! Bad, bad, bad batch is literally the, the Mandalorian. Exact same. Oh, there's this little green turd I have to babysit. Oh, Kenobi, little bitch ass Leia can't freaking stay in her house. <laughs> you know, <laughs> a bad. The way you said that, it's true. <laughs> but they're not that bad. Dude, Kenobi, like, the Mandalorian's, like, way better than Kenobi. My, I'll give it that. We, we haven't seen it. Yeah, but I'll tell you right now, it's better than Kenobi. Why? Because of the ratings? No, because it's John Favreau. Uh, do you think Iron uh, Man 1 was uh, so good? Me, he's in Marvel. What do you think Iron Man uh, 1 was so Marvel. good? He's horrible. I told you anything Marvel. before 2018 is he's good. He's horrible. I just told you. I said Marvel now sucks. The next 20 movies that are going to come out are going to be ass. No, they're not. I hope James Gunn can actually do something with Guardians 3, he's, but I don't have he's faith. He's a great director. Mm-hmm. He should have been doing the Thor movies. Yeah, I don't like Taika. Taika's pretty dumb. He should have been doing the Thor movies. Imagine him with, with that cast. Mm-hmm. I mean, what, what's he doing with um with Guardians is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. Uh, and then what he did with Suicide Squad. I don't know Guardians 2 is that fantastic. It's better than any movie that's come out recently. Well, yeah. And I told you anything any anything before 2018 is pretty decent. But I also think Shang, 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 Shang-Chi's a lot mm-hmm. better than most than some of the films and before. Yeah. When's that new Ant-Man come out? Probably 2023 or 2023. 2023. I think spring. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which, um, Kang. What? Kang's the um, villain. I don't know who Kang is. You don't know who Kang is? Kang? Kang, Kang the Conqueror? Kangaroo? Oh, my Lord. It's Kang the Conqueror. You did him. You know, not you didn't watch um Loki. No, the black guy. Yeah, oh, that's Kang. Okay. That's Kang the Conqueror. Oh, because they're both in the quantum realm. That is the. No, I mean no. Yeah. Okay. But Kang, in Marvel's past, like comics, is the biggest villain in all of Marvel. Mm-hmm. And now we're seeing him in a film, and he's supposed to be some badass guy in this new Ant Man movie. New what? This new Ant Man movie. Oh, okay. You're the reason why Disney keeps shitting out these crappy movies. <laughs> and I'm fine with it. Man. Uh, d- d- the comic books. This, d- 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 it's gonna d- be d- sick. <laughs> but I also sa- said that about all of Phase Phase Four before Phase f- Phase Four. I also said that those were gonna be great too. Mm-hmm. And they weren't. Like like four dog water. Doctor Strange. No, no, I, I want to go watch Dog Thor water. 4. Okay, parents, take me to go watch Thor. Okay, <laughs> that's... I didn't ask the parents to take to take me. It just happened to be that they went with us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and have a good time with us. They did not have a good time. <laughs> okay, well... Dad sat next to, a, like, a, 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 
a chromey lacking human Whoa. who was <laughs> screaming the whole time. <laughs> he was just trying to be like the counterparts uh, in the screen. Uh huh. The goats, of course. And that's also some misleading shit. Like if you watch the trailer, the goats like sound like normal goats. And then they just have to cancer it up with some goat meme that from 2012. It's because it's funny. It's not. It's awful, Connor. I laughed quite a few times. And Jane, they try to make her funny. I did not like her character. Okay, yeah. At all. Did she die? I don't even remember. Yeah. Okay, good. She went to Valhalla. Okay, uh, spoiler alert, everybody. (laughs) Yeah, we just spoiled the whole dang movie. Hey, guys. I mean, it's not like it matters. It's a bad one anyway. And if you haven't seen it by now, I mean, what's the point? What's the point? (laughs) I mean, Christian Bale was the only thing good about that movie. His performance was great. He was good. That's about it. But he was on screen not too long. Like, in the first scene, I was like, holy crap, this might be epic. And then it got cancer real quick. <laughs> like, I didn't like the first scene too much. Like, like I he's into the desert, and his like, daughter dies, I, and he murders a god. That's kind of hot. I hype. liked the Christian Bale performance in that first scene, but I didn't, like, get it. Like, and what, I'm done with the cheesy happening. Matt Damon, uh, whatever her <laughs> name is. What's her name? I don't know. Uh Whatever the comedian, yeah. fat girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, that's some. Get this crap out of here, dude. No, it, that was very stupid. I do think it's funny though. When he showed up, we all laughed. Like you laughed. Come on. No, I did not. That was funny. Because I've seen him a thousand times in the freaking Thor movies. Well, he didn't sh- sh- show up in the first and second one. Well, he was in the third one, and uh, he was. I think he was in there twice. And you know who directed that film? Taika. Yeah. 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 And Russell Crowe, like I wanted, we need more out of Russell Crowe, but he you was want, also you a dumb more? character. Well, his character is dumb. Yeah. And then the after credits scene was whatever. They were announcing a new villain for Thor. Oh, okay. Yeah, for Thor 5. Yeah. It's definitely going to get higher rated. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> like, they, they need like, a new They literally think they about this. Think about this. I, I get that Thor 1 came out like, what was it? Like third 20, one to come out? Twenty like eleven. What was the third Marvel one to come out? It was early. Yeah, phase phase one. Yeah, but they made like four of those movies. and they only made two Doctor Stranges. Like, that's ridiculous. Like people, Doctor Strange two should have came out in like twenty eighteen or twenty seventeen. People liked the Thor. And the fact that he's still alive. Well, people like the main Avengers. Mm-hmm. And that he's still alive, they have to show him. Mm-hmm. They have to because pe- pe- people are not going to let go of the old Avengers. You know who else is still alive though? Who's that? Captain America. I don't care if he's ninety five; he's well, still alive. Well, you did see they announced a fourth movie for him. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, not, but it's not going to be Chris Evans. I'm not. Well, well, I don't know me. what that. I'm pretty. It's going to be uh, whatever sure his name is. Mackie. Yeah. Not Mackie. Uh, what's his? <sighs> The yeah. white guy, Sebastian Stan. No, no, the guy, the 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 other guy, the guy that tried to be Captain America in the show or whatever. John Walker. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Kurt Russell's kid. John, John, John Walker's the character name. Okay, Wyatt Russell. Yeah, that's the character name. Yeah, well, I don't care about the character name. That's not. That's not going to happen. Wyatt. You, Wyatt's going to be Captain America. You, you didn't watch the show. Well, yeah, I didn't watch the show. Mackie becomes Captain America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be... And mm-hmm. so did Wyatt, but they took it away. And then he became a U.S. agent, which is going to set up for a whole... You never saw movie. the uh, Overlord movie, did you? I don't know what that is. It was a zombie movie that came... It was like a weird... It, I don't know if it was a zombie movie, but it was like a weird World War Two movie with him in it. Who, Wyatt? Yeah, Wyatt. Heck, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I've seen him in anything else. Okay, well, this actually wasn't a bad movie, but it wasn't what we were expecting. And so it was like World War Two, and then these guys would like inject themselves with like weird super steroids that you could like revive people from the dead with. And they turned to these massive, like super strong zombies. <laughs> it was a wild movie. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Wyatt's in it, and he like gets super buff and stuff. Mm-hmm. I. <laughs> I just don't think I could like him now just because of why cuz he's the show. The, isn't he, he a douchebag in the show or whatever? He is the worst character I've, I've, I've ever seen in Marvel. Like I've never hated a character more. That's what everybody says. <laughs> you can't be roasting Kurt's son like that, dude. Speaking of Kurt, both both Russells suck in the MCU. Okay. 
<laughs> Kurt is just a big old freaking. I mean, Eagle planet. wasn't a bad character. Yeah, but he freaking he he fucks uh, Peter's mom well, and yes. then kills her. What the? Okay. Just 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 because he does that, does that make him a bad character? It, he killed Peter's mom, which then okay. makes him. A Thanos bad is guy. a fantastic character, and he wiped out half the universe. Yeah, but that he ended up. There was no like consequences for like really yeah exactly because marvel's dumb there i mean there <laughs> there was two hmm? there was two i mean N- natasha mm-hmm. and uh G- and gamora yeah they're both they're both out now mm-hmm. so i guess but isn't loki gone uh, well no. i guess he's back because he went through the the yeah. marvel time scope universe yeah. teleport quantum string theory technically, field technically <laughs> Disney brought him back because Tom Hiddleston was too popular. They just drug him back up from the depths. Of <laughs> Te- technically, he is he has died like three times. They couldn't let Loki die. Well, the way it works, you never watched the show. Do you? the The Loki that is in Loki is not the Infinity War Loki. Mm-hmm. This is it's another Loki from another universe. So, at the beginning of the movie, it, it starts with 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 Endgame. Mm-hmm. When they go back to 2012 mm-hmm. to get the to get the, te- the, the, the the tesseract, mm-hmm. crap screws up, and then the Loki that is there, the bad one, mm-hmm. goes picks up the tesseract that then teleports, mm-hmm. uh, and then that's when the TVA ca- uh, catches him because mm-hmm. he broke the timeline. That's the ti- the um the uh, Loki yeah. we have. Mm-hmm. That show's phenomenal. So we got Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that is. I'm Loki. waiting for Rick and Morty Ooh. season six. Is what I'm waiting for. That's what uh, I'm more hyped I mean, for that than Marvel. <laughs> that's just that's just a better show, though. Well, yeah, it's Rick and Morty. That's just a better show. Yeah, season four and five were not as good as season one, two, and three. I'll tell you that now. Season three was actually epic. Of was, Rick and Morty. Was season three, uh, well, at the end, did it like tease um, the mom? Yeah. Uh, then season four kind of didn't li- live up to it, did it? Well, no, they we figured out that well, her mom, the clone, came back. Well, is she a, is she a clone? I don't watch Rick and Morty for the plot, Connor. <laughs> you watch it for freaking Beth and whatever the hell. Because it's funny as is. shit. Um, <laughs> they make nine eleven and Pearl Harbor jokes, Connor. <laughs> That no other freaking, show does that. That freaking movie where our, or the episode where they have the bugs attached. Yeah. To their face, and mm-hmm. then um, at the end, they're flying away, and they're and they're and they're and they're like, "Oh crap, we have we have to go back." Yeah, it's uh, funny. And then they fly for a harbor and blow it up. Mm-hmm. Then they make some cheesy joke about Pearl Harbor. <laughs> it's a cheesy joke. It's a good joke, but that's about it. I mean, that's from season four, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. See, season five started off so freaking weird. I mean, first of all, there's sperm. <laughs> there's the freaking sperm. That is the weirdest episode. Okay, with they the, had see they had the chicken the or the turkey baby, episode. The incest baby in there. Yeah. Like what? That is Morty's sperm that grows to be the size of a car. Mm-hmm. Who goes? to summer's enlarged egg that's floating in the middle <laughs> that's why of the... it's an incest baby and it like and it doesn't it's has problems <laughs> there is and rick does oh, something Lord. to stop all of the sperm but then there's like an autism sperm that squeaks through <laughs> and, it, and then it, it does well, the yeah. egg uh-huh. See now that like that's funny. Now if Marvel did that, but it wasn't like meme dumb Thor stuff, it'd be actually funny to watch. You want Marvel to do something with an with an autistic? They won't do it, but it'd be baby. funny as shit. Like whenever Deadpool joins the MCU, they, yeah, it might be able to be he funny. Does. He is. He is in the MCU. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Coming you can literally look up the contract, Connor. It's like been there for a year, and then literally uh, whatever his name, the actor. Put it on his Instagram as Deadpool, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm part of the MCU now. <laughs> Looks like I won't be rated R or whatever." Show me a film or movie that he's in the MCU. <laughs> there isn't. Okay, there's a lot of characters that aren't in the MCU, Connor, or that are in the MCU that haven't shown up yet. 
then they're not in the like MCU yet. Super Super Iron Man hasn't showed up yet, Connor. <laughs> then they're not in the MCU. Don't the Transformers like come to the MCU or something? <laughs> What the hell? Or they make like a cross. I think there's a crossover comic or something. Or there's like Transformers in the Marvel. There's I probably, swear. There's some crazy crap in the <laughs> comics. There are there are some crazy cross- <laughs> crossovers. There's probably some freaking. There's pro- pro- You know, Superman might show up. Who knows? Mm-hmm. When we see Clark Kent just show up. We're like, if oh, we crap. need you to watch the Snyder Cut because that's actually quite good. I know it's four hours, but we can't watch it because we don't have HBO Max. Get it for us. Yeah, okay. I'll just dish out some cash to watch a movie. It's like 15 bucks. It's fine. Yeah, okay. I might be able to buy it for that much. Then why don't we do that, though? I'm not going to. Why not? Too much money. If it's so great, then why don't we just find a way to watch it? Yeah. I've watched it. I thought it was good. We started at like 11. (laughs) I wouldn't do it. (laughs) We would have to start at like 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Speaking, say. we should do that when we uh, when we leave. Oh, for the trip? Yeah. You want to watch a movie? Yeah. In the van? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Get, we, I mean, don't get like a good movie. We could go get Okay, so we're going to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Where are we going? I don't even know. We're going to some cheese factory? Some, yeah, uh, I think he said some like... London Dells or something like that. Heck, I don't know. If you what. guys are listening to this, it's probably afterwards. <laughs> it's probably after the trip. I, I don't know what. Because I don't know when I'm going to get this is. podcast out. I, I I don't know what our trip is. All I do know is we're going to a White Sox game. So you better not wear royal stuff. I'm going to be wearing all my royal stuff. You know, we're stuff. going to Chicago, right? Yeah. Lori Lightfoot might whoop, whoop out the Glock on your ass. Who? The Beetlejuice might whoop the Glock on your ass <laughs> and blow your head off. <laughs> Why is he from there? Beetlejuice? Yeah. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? No. Lori Lightfoot, the governor? No, I don't know who that is. Looks like Beetlejuice. I'll have to pull up a picture. <laughs> um, It's a girl. and She's like a black girl from, I don't know, she's like 60-something. No, nah, I'm definitely wearing Lori. all of my royal stuff to a White Sox game. Don't do that. I'm going to be wearing my Whit Mer- Mer- Merrifield jersey, even though he's probably not going to be there. <laughs> he probably won't play. You don't know what Beetlejuice is, do you? Yeah, the white, the like white makeup dude. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that that's Lori Lightfoot. Okay, Lori Lightfoot. Oh shoot, I, I exited out. Lori Lightfoot next to Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lordy, <laughs> is that weird looking? Well, they look the same. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, looking, looking, looking. No, she's she's not gonna do crap. She's probably like <laughs> I'm joking. She, she probably <laughs> doesn't have a gun. Well, she's asking. She's, she's like she's like yeah. She's trying to get rid of guns, but she has like eight armed bodyguards around her, which is well, funny as shit. <laughs> every po- politician is just a hypocrite. So yeah, yeah. Uh, where's the White Sox like stadium even at? Somewhere in downtown. I don't know. Well, there's Wrigley. Yeah, and then what's the other one? Guaranteed right field. Mm-hmm. Wait, three. Yeah. Uh, guaranteed right field, guaranteed rate. Wait, guaranteed Gu- rate. Oh, that's the field. Oh, guaranteed rate field. Okay, that is the field. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. We got good seats too. Where are they at? They're like, um, here's home plate. Okay. So like, home plate is to the left. So is... we're on first base, no. first base side. Yeah, I think, and we are li- like t- twelve rows up. With, like, we are the last row of a section. Oh, okay. So we have a lot of, lot of reg- leg room there. I'm not sure because there's, like, the big walkway in front of us. Okay. Uh, then there's only, like, ten, 10 rows between us and the field. Oh, well, that sounds cool. Yeah, we, we got good seats for sure. So when is that? When is that? When's that game? The first. Sunday? The first Monday. Sunday. Monday. Okay. Monday. Even though is it the start of the series, end of the series? It's probably the start because it's Monday, but I we oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's probably it's probably the start though, because it's Monday. So we're going to some cheese factory. Which can it's gonna be sick. I hope there's cheesecake. No, no, Connor, it's not. It's, it's not gonna, gonna be, be awesome. Sick. The whole thing's gonna be Wisconsin, epic. Connor. Wisconsin. Nobody you, goes to Wisconsin. You've never been there, and I've never been there. You sure? 
Wow, dude. You know we were like ten miles away from Wisconsin on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Heck, I was talking to. Um, I like to the same route we took. They're they're gonna, gonna take that exact the route. exact same way. Yeah, I know. And um, he goes, yeah, we're probably just gonna go the exact same way you just just went. Mm-hmm. And um, if you're wondering where we just came from, we came from Freeport, Illinois. We just came back from a Blitzball trip. Yes, we played Blitzball. <laughs> oh um, yeah, I forgot about the Blitzball. We played. Blitz, I've been trying to block that dude. It's painful. What our team? <laughs> our team. I mean, I don't want to spoil anything before the games come out, but we did pretty rough. It was embarrassing. Yeah, and my arm hurts. Your arm hurts. My arm hurts. I, Everybody I, on the team's arm hurts. Besides for MG, I'd say he didn't. Yeah, pitch. Matthew. Yeah, Matthew didn't pitch very much. But. He pitched like like two innings maybe. Yeah, but what did you think about the trip though? It was fun. Um, with pretty Manny, fun. Manny's Pizza. Manny's Pizza with um, with the Blitzball guy. Yeah, Aaron was um. Aaron's pretty lit. He's awesome. The nicest dude I've ever met. Yeah. Seriously. Seriously, the nicest dude I've ever met. Like, we we didn't meet until this uh, past weekend, and first time, boom, the biggest hug you've ever had. Big hugger guy. Kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Kind of weird. But um, the trip was fun. Um, I think I know what the competition's like now. Yeah. So the Chargers always hit good. They're freaking. Yeah, they just hit everything. Yeah, and then next year I think I could do a, like a lot better because I know what it's gonna be like now. But that that's not an excuse. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> well, that's my first time. It's my first time playing blitzball outside of Como blitzball. Yeah, and like I'm pretty solid in in, in, in Como blitzball, but then outside. I like I wasn't too great. I probably hit. That's because you've never seen the pitchers before. No, I've I've never seen anybody mm-hmm. besides for our people. And now that I've seen more people, I think I'll do better in future tournaments. Yeah, because that's my first one. But we did get the short end of the stick for sure with the teams. They stacked the first team. The second team was pretty stacked too. They didn't do well in the tournament. Somehow we won. I didn't mean to say that. But boy, you be <laughs> spoiling everything. What I spoiled Thor, and now you're spoiling the Como video. I mean, we, uh, we hey, da, da, da. we both got one. What? Oh, okay. Don't spoil anymore. <laughs> no we more both, spoiling. We both got one spoil. So you haven't seen even Top Gun yet, bro. No. You're missing out. I haven't seen seen the old. You're one gonna either. have to watch the old one, and then we have to go watch the new one. The new one's probably gonna be out of theater soon. Yeah, we could we could watch it somewhere though. Yeah, it is epic somewhere. in theater because the jets and the sounds are insane. There's this yeah. one scene where this guy's shooting off flares and it sounds ridiculous, like yeah. a crazy machine gun. Yeah. Miles Teller is not my favorite though. Why? <laughs> I know why, but you know, tell me why. <laughs> no, tell you say why. No, 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 no. Tell me why you don't like Miles um, Teller. Same reason you don't like John Berthel. <laughs> John Berthenol, as you would say. Whoa, why? <laughs> Why don't you like John Bernthal? Because of The Walking Dead. What do you mean? You don't like him in The Walking Dead? No, I hate Shane in The Walking Dead makes me so angry. Okay, so why do you hate John Bernthal? He's not Shane. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. His name's John Bernthal, not Shane. He doesn't walk around Hollywood as okay, Shane. Yeah, I don't care. Actors get the love and hate from their characters. I don't care. And why do you not like Miles Teller? Because of, di- of, of Divergent. Oh, well, the chick flick of the mid-15s or mid-teens. That's a horrible movie. A horrible movie, yes. It's a hor- give me that. horrible movie. Oh, well, they just tried to do Hunger Games. I've heard that the books are better. Oh, man, the books are better. Like, everything. That's not true. I Actually, I haven't read, like, a book, so I don't know. But um, that movie's horrible. Miles is, like, a bad guy. Kind he of. is ripped in this movie, dude. In Maverick? No, I've seen him. Yeah. When they're playing a, a dogfight football. Yeah. yeah. You don't know what that is. but On it, the beach? Yeah. It's called dogfight football. Yeah. It's offense and defense at the same time. It doesn't he's, make sense, but it's, yeah, they're all like running around shirtless, and you're like, holy he's, shit. He's a good singer. He sung in that movie, too. Oh, yeah. He played the piano. Yeah, I don't know if he played um, the piano, but his character was playing the piano. Yeah, Great Balls of Fire song. Yeah. Yeah, he was great. Like, that's him singing. 
Yeah. That's a great. Um, that's great. Um, mm-hmm. He was pretty good in War Dogs, I'd say. Oh, yeah. He was, that's a fantastic movie. He was pretty good in War Dogs. I didn't like... That's like Wolf of Wall Street, both like guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Because Wolf of Wall Street's with stocks and crap, and then that's like illegally with ammo. doing like Russian ammo yeah. or something. And Jonah Hill's in both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jonah Hill was a dick in, in uh, War Dogs. Oh, because he like ratted out his bro. Yeah, and um, didn't like he like agreed to pay him, but like took away his contract and crap. Yeah, like like stole it from his desk and tore it up and crap. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they could have done a lot more with um, with on a day Arnimas. Ana de Armas. Armas. Ana. Yeah. But she wasn't on screen a lot in that film. So. Mm hmm. But yeah, Miles, I don't know how I feel. If you watch her in Blade Runner, you get to see her boobies, Connor. No way. <laughs> For us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm changing my pick. If you're below 18, don't watch Blade Runner. <laughs> well. <laughs> you got to wait a month. <laughs> I gotta wait two months. months. I gotta wait a month. Two yeah. months. Gotta wait a month to watch that film now. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's that's great. Can't wait. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to watch that. Just kidding. Not kidding though. Um. Yeah. Top Top Gun. Should oh, yeah. should be should be good when I watch it. It's crazy how Tom still still does the stunts though. I don't know if he flies. I know he has. I know he, he. I think he has his pilot license, but I don't think he flies in it. Oh, so he's faking now. Well, that's, the shit they're doing in that is like military. Well, oh, I know it's real. Whole life training stuff. It's like all real. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Jocko had like one of the flying guys on his podcast. Really? Oh, yeah. He talked about it. It's pretty wild. Oh, really? that's sick. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure Miles flew. Are you sure? He was talking about it. Mm. He may have. I don't know. He may have. Like miles but there ain't no way they're time. doing the maneuvers. There's no way on this nah. planet they're doing the maneuvers. Probably, you haven't seen it, but there's crazy insane not. maneuvers. Pro- pro- they're probably just like testing, like flying straight, you know, like mm-hmm. the basic fly. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no way he did the first scene. You haven't seen it, but the first scene, there's no way on this planet he did it. Some crazy crap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably not. Not just maneuvers, but at the speed they were going. No, there's no way Tom Cruise did that. That's crazy how like... They were, f- they were filming, and like China, like talked to them because they thought they were like attacking them. That's crazy. No, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Where'd you hear that? At? That's a thing. That the 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 planes became a threat to China or something. Because mm. that they thought that those were like war planes. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. So these planes must be like insane. There is at the end. There's some gnarly jets. Is there? If you watch it, yeah. I mean, they do maneuvers that the Tom Cruise jets like not even capable of doing. Like it's it's pretty wild. Yeah. Tom. Tom is so. I don't old. like Tom Cruise. <laughs> but I, why? I don't know. He seems like an arrogant like prick. <laughs> and he looks like he's fake. He always smiling all the time. And it looks like he's just fake. Yeah. Yeah, well, and he's yelling, "Wear your fucking mask!" And I was like, "Okay, yeah, screw off." Yeah, heck, I watched that video a long time ago. That's too. like that's like actual Tom Cruise is yeah. a, just an asshole, and then yeah. fake Tom Cruise is smiley, laughy all yeah. the time with his crooked ass teeth crooked and ass his teeth. short ass. You're you're just mad that he has uh, more more girls on him. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, you're, you're you're kidding. You you underestimate my ability. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is that funny? That tickle you? Yeah, yeah. Because you've never like you've never been with a female. Yeah, yeah. What'd you think about Big O's restaurant in Freeport? Expensive but good. Pretty good. <laughs> Expensive. The steak, You're the like, steak was good. Yeah, well, that's because you got a big steak. Yeah, the steak. You're like, I, I don't, I don't want to spend that much money, and then you, just, you know, spend forty dollars. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you're dumb. I did say I don't want to spend money, and then I continue to get the the sixteen ounce ribeye. <laughs> I did do that. Yeah. But that was good, though. That was good. Well, yeah, I don't think it was bad. It was a weird environment in there. It didn't it feel like a retirement home. It definitely did not feel like, what is like this? an expensive steak restaurant yeah, at all. Yeah, I definitely, yeah. It felt like I and was at... And the food at, wasn't bad, but it was weird. I definitely thought I was at some 
old time diner. I wish it, we we would have gone to that Italian restaurant because you would have liked that. Because that pizza like I got last time was immaculate. I forgot the name of the restaurant, but it was good. Is it that uh that deep dish stuff yeah. that you brought home, dude? Yeah. See, I'm not good I'm not, stuff. Bro. I don't like pizza, bro. Well, they had other stuff than that. They had cigars there. I got a cigar. Well, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Well, that's because you're just a youngster, a little little weenie over there. Little weenie. Yeah, a little youngster over little there. Little tyke, as you would say. Yeah, you're a little tyke, as you would say. Mm-hmm. Um, no, pizza's not my favorite. So, yeah. But I, I, uh, I am excited for when we go to sh- to Chicago. Yeah. I would like to. Try oh, you want to get a deep dish? I do want to try Chicago, Chicago deep Chicago, dish. Chicago pizza for sure. Yeah. I don't even know how Chicago is going to be busy or not. That's well, going to be... Because, like, Nashville last summer wasn't that busy. Do you think it was? You couldn't walk downtown. Yeah, we did. Nashville. Yeah, we did. On our way back, the day before we came back. Yeah. It was ridiculous. The cars that couldn't even drive down the street. Party buses going down the street the whole time. Remember, it took us, like, two hours to get into that restaurant? It, it did not take that long. It took us at least an it, hour and a half. It, it, it was not that long. It man. was. 100%. That, it was insanely packed. Like, it was party everywhere. Thank you. Music about is it, loud as today, hell everywhere. I hated it, but looking back, it like that, that, that that's cool. But yeah, no. you can't do anything fun because I have parents there and a little brother who can't drink there. So basically, well, every vacation well, well, we go well, on well. is boring. Mm. Mm-hmm. I can't buy it for you. I mean, you could. Mm-hmm. Well, why couldn't you? That kid who uh, we were standing there. And um, he popped open a beer and it spilled all over you. I don't remember. In it, Nashville? Yeah. We were standing there in line uh, probably, for that. I don't remember. That, uh, I tried to block out that whole vacation out of my mind. And um, he cracked it open. It like sp- oh, spewed. Yeah. Um, and he's like, bro, I'm so sorry. Come on. I'll get you one. <laughs> um, Pretty funny. Some, some old dude. Bumped into me and tried to square up. No, he didn't. No, I swear. When that's that's my story. Oh. The same the same time as you. Mm. As you do. I don't now. remember. Yeah, that whole trip. Well, just in um, just in Nashville, we stayed in the Nashville was the best part of the no, whole trip. No, no, it was yep. not. Not yep. even close. Uh, yep. yep. No, it was not. Downtown Nashville's hype. Especially in whatever July, middle of July. Uh, no, it was July fourth because we left right, you right liked July fourth. Yeah, that was better than the uh, Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach wasn't bad e- e- either. We didn't do anything. We played disc golf, went to the to the pier, and and walked around. <laughs> played on the beach. <laughs> okay, we were there for like three days. Mm-hmm. Asheville was awesome. Favorite place. That course on Asheville there. was pretty crazy. It was like super steep. The, the hilly one? Yeah. That we both sucked that was a hard pain on. in the ass. Dude, that took us two hours. Oh, yeah. And it, it was, was like super short, but it was like it, super it, tall. It, 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 like, it was like a mission mm-hmm. to play that whole course. Yeah. But, I don't um, remember the name. I me, wish I knew the name. Me neither. Um, it, it was right by a school. Yeah. And I don't know what the school was. But um no, I love the mountains there in um in Asheville. Um and the um the Biltmore. Mm-hmm. You didn't like that. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. It's a castle. I mean it's it's a house, not a castle. Yeah. And the the fact that, that like we drove around the whole property. Yeah. That's crazy that that guy owned that whole thing. Mm-hmm. That's nuts. Yeah. Then our hotel was awesome. Downtown was awesome. That uh, that our restaurant we went to, it was incredible. An incredible experience. Yeah. Just incredible. So here, after you know, after this vacation, we'll come back and talk about it. Yeah. And then I think you're gonna have a blissful game here on Wednesday. That's right. <laughs> against the Crushers. I am. Or the wait, crushers. No, sorry. The Crushers <laughs> against the Badgers. <laughs> I am the crushers. Yeah. So maybe you'll win that one. We will. Well, yeah. We will. Well, uh, this is the, the first podcast, guys. Uh, thank you for listening. Come back next time, and we'll we'll talk about some other stuff. If you have questions, you know, leave it in the comments below, and we'll talk to you guys later.
Peace, Peace out.